those signals uh, so we are having four categories okay system interface signals then uh, data interface signals then usb interface signals and vendor control signals okay we'll see the addition one by one okay first we'll start with system interface signals so um, before that you see a uh, um, pin description of 8 bit interface of uh, utmi fine so these are the outputs of uh, utmi this is going to function controller data out tx ready rx active rx valid clock rx error dp d minus these are the differential signals okay dp and d minus and this is going to uh, function control and these are the inputs coming from the usb function controller side okay so this is an 8 bit interface now similarly you can see the 16 bit interface so in, in 16 bit interface uh, uh, extra signals are there tx valid high is there this extra data signal is there and uh, data bus 16 is to 8 signal is there okay right now line state so line state signals are used by sie to detecting the reset speed signaling packet timing and to transition from one be behavior to another so line state is very important signal because uh, this is the exact replica of uh, d plus and d minus you see d plus d minus if on d plus and d minus 0 0 is there then single ended 0 is there on the line state if 0 1 is there then j state is there 1 0 is there then k state is there and 1 1 is there then single ended 1 is there okay, okay. you are getting you are getting serial interface you know na? d plus and d minus lines are there right so in d plus and d minus line four uh, total four combinations will come so that uh, that how uh, your uh, function uh, device controller will come to know that what is there on your uh, line state by seeing at this okay line state signal so uh, what all the uh, means this is an output signal okay this signal will go to your serial interface engine okay that interface engine will uh, based on that will detect research speed signaling packet timing transition from one behavior to another behavior okay so this is the line state now coming to suspend okay suspend places the macro cell in the mode that draw the minimal power from the uh, supplies so when uh, nobody is uh, when bus is idle during that time we can suspend so there is one input pin so your uh, uh, your uh, serial interface engine will enable this pin and uh, uh, your all the blocks will uh, get shut down shut down all the blocks not necessary to suspend and resume uh, operation okay so zero macro cell circuitry draw suspend current one macro cell circuitry draw normal current okay so these are the two scenarios from where uh, it will draw the current from bus here from port you can say that now this is an output bus so 8 bit parallel usb data output bus now this is an rx valid signal during receive time so this is an output signal this indicates that data out bus has uh, valid data okay okay first uh, like tx valid so this is a receive rx valid but okay. the difference is this will go from utmi to serial interface engine okay right and the receive data holding register is full and ready to be unloaded okay mm -hmm. it will tell this 